This Black History Month, we are celebrating a man who dedicated 50 years of his life to educating African American students. I traveled to Galveston recently to learn more about his legacy in the state's first high school for black students that opened in 1885. John Rufus Gibson, an unsung hero of early educators, a legacy often overlooked but not lost on people like a longtime Galveston School Board trustee, David O'Neill Jr. You still can't forget the, uh, the significance of the impact of the individuals before you. From 1888 to 1935, Gibson served as the principal of Galveston Central High School, the first public high school for black students west of the Mississippi River. Most students, uh, people were going to school, it was to the eighth grade. So in order, in uh, going to a school like Central, it was like going to a college. The original permanent structure was stately and elegant, much like the man who quickly rose to school principal after just three short years of teaching. So many people came from uh, near and far to go to school here. All of the rural areas, Brazoria, Sweeney, Bay City, uh, Louisiana, it was just an e easy access to it them to come here. And Houston was rural, the, the first high school for Houston, I believe, was Brooker, Washington, and it was 1926. Gibson was a graduate of Wilberforce University, the nation's oldest private historically black university, before relocating to Galveston. By 1905, he managed the then new colored branch of Galveston's Rosenberg Library, while also heading up Central High and its evolution through the years. Gibson's impact and influence extends way beyond Central and Galveston, Texas. In 1901, President McKinley appointed Gibson Consul General of Liberia, a West African nation that then had mission schools and even a teacher's college. But by far, his greatest contribution and lasting legacy was at the head of the class, says historian Sam Collins. There are children and adults still being impacted by his work. We need more uh, men specifically uh, men of color, to help educate young people. Men who will serve the classroom and their community, all while encouraging the next generation and carrying on the legacy of John Rufus Gibson. There's so much history with Mr. Gibson and Galveston. Yeah. He was a survivor of the 1900 storm. He basically led relief efforts for the African-American community working with the then very early Red Cross. I have two thoughts. One, he kind of looks like my grandfather. Two, my <laughs> grandmother went to his college, Wilberforce, I know. in Ohio. Great story. Connecting the dots. Very it's nice. It's wonderful what's in our own backyard. Mm.